flammable. Oops. Gretchen? Thanks a lot, Mike. Well, Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, he only has four months left to his term, but that's not stopping him from trying to put a stop to government-controlled health care. He just signed an executive order forbidding state agencies from applying for new grants programs under the health care law. Joining me now is Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. Good morning to you, Governor. Good morning, Gretchen. You know, sometimes people say, ah, lame duck governors, they don't do any work anyway. I guess you have a whole different <laughs> approach to being a lame duck governor. Why'd you do this? Well, I don't like Obamacare. I think taking our health care system into Washington, D.C. and having it be a top-down command and control, one-size-fits-all bureaucracy is not the right way to go. So I said, at least for Minnesota, we're not going to participate unless required by law or unless it's something we were going to do as a matter of state initiative anyhow. And I wanted my state agencies to follow that consistent, clear rule, and there was some uh, confusion or inconsistency prior to that. So are you saying that any governor of any state then, if they didn't agree with Obamacare, they could do a similar thing? Well, executive orders in Minnesota, and I think in most states, can't trump a uh, constitution and it can't trump an existing law. But under Obamacare, there's a series of things we can do as a matter, or not do, as a matter of discretion. So for those things, we're choosing not to do them. And uh, the rest of Obamacare, I hope, gets repealed in the meantime. So this is one executive order, and it's very specific, but do you plan to issue other executive orders with regard to other aspects of Obamacare? Well, we don't have any other executive orders in mind regarding Obamacare because this one covers the, the waterfront. But some things we've done previously, uh, Gretchen, to this is to say Minnesota was one of a few states that had the option of opting into another part of Obamacare. We chose not to. They were going to give us some money, by the way, to do something to track insurance rates in Minnesota. We already did that, so why waste their money and our time to do that? And many other examples like that. But the federal government, I've likened it to a financial drug dealer. You know, they give out a little free sample. They give out a little free taste, try to get you hooked. In. Ah. And then, of course, uh, then you're on the gravy train. And we're just saying you, they can't afford it. They're broke. Right. These are programs we don't agree with. So let's just not go down this path. Well, the reason that you are a lame duck governor uh, is because you're probably going to run for president uh, coming up in 2012. Now, there's an interesting poll that just came out from likely voters in your home state of Minnesota. Here was the question. Would you be likely to vote for Governor Plenty if he was the 2012 GOP candidate for president? 53 percent unlikely. 37% likely and 10% unsure. Do you think this has anything to do with your take on Obamacare or what is it? Well, I'm a conservative governor in a state that leans the other way. I mean, keep in mind, this is the land of McCarthy, Humphrey, Mondale, Wellstone, and now, you know, Senator Al Franken. And so my approval ratings over the years as governor have ranged from, you know, 45 to 55. And for a state that leans the other way in these economic times, that's actually pretty good compared to other governors. But, uh, you know, if, if you look at Minnesota, it's a Democrat state. And so to have mm -hmm. a re conservative Republican gets anywhere near, you know, half level of approval rating, I don't think that's too bad. All right, Governor Tim Pawlenty from Minnesota, have a great holiday weekend. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you, Gretchen. Coming up on the show, new jobless numbers expected just two minutes away. Experts say they could be the worst we've seen in months. That's next. Also moments away, what we've all been waiting for, Brian begins his round of golf with former President George W. Bush. We're going to go live to Texas for the tee-off. And then Jerry Lewis, ready for a smackdown? Smack her in the mouth and be arrested for abusing a woman. What would you say to her? I would say you deserve this and nothing else. Whack! Wow. Who made him so angry? We'll reveal it next. I don't see anything yet. Now, over there, we just got to keep going left. What's your deal with going left? 